everyone, it's Jackie, and today I'm going to be doing a TJ Maxx makeup haul. TJ Maxx is a store that sells things like clothes, makeup, shoes, home decor, all kinds of things at discount prices, and in their makeup selection, they do have quite a bit of high brand or higher end makeup products, and I think it's a great way to build your collection. No, you're not going to get the newest item, but you still will get really good items with good brands at good prices, just at stores like that. Um, buyer beware make sure you open the products make sure they haven't been used a lot of people like to swatch or mess with the product so just make sure you check out what you buy before you buy it um, I guess that's enough rambling for this intro. Let's get to the video. So the first item I got was this BH Cosmetics palette um, Marvie Corn by Marvin Magnificent and I got it for $6.99 and I did some research and this retails for $17.50 at Ulta. So here's the package. And I got this because it is so stinking cute. Like it's got unicorns, eyeshadows, um, it looks like some highlighters are in there. Let me get this covering off. And you can tell this has not been tampered with because the plastic um, protecting protector is still taped to the box. So this is a brand stinking new palette. Okay. So here's the palette with the protecting co the protective cover off of it. Um, I'll go ahead and do some swatches of it. I'm going from the top across. This is Fobbler, Muddy, Honey Boo Boo, K by and Bahamas. These are actually pretty pigmented. Okay, and we're gonna swatch the bottom row here, starting from this way over. We have Moana, Tongue Pop. Savage, Breakdown, and Spray Tan. And this third row here looks like highlighters. So let's swatch those. We have Sheesh. Sheesh. That's fun. Well, that's pretty. Living the Life. And 8,000. So those looks like some pretty highlighters right there. And I actually got two eyeshadow palettes, so we'll go ahead and do the second one now. Um, I was really excited to find this one, and so is my daughter, because she's probably gonna snag it from me when I'm done with this video. But it's the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Palette. Discover a candy-coated confection of heart-shaped shadows infused with antioxidant rich cocoa powder. Include 16 matte and shimmer shades and delicious pops of color, sugary brights, and beautiful go-to neutrals in the best-selling one-swipe formula you know and love. Includes our signature Glamour Glide with three looks to get you started. This is really cute. It's like a chocolate bar. Of course, it smells like chocolate. You know how Too Faced loves their scented products. So here's the palette, it has a mirror, and here are the shadows. So let's do some swatches. And like a normal, I'm gonna start from the top row and go over. So we have Almond Truffle. Satin Sheets. Sprinkles, molasses chip, and malted. Uh, my dog is over here chewing something up. Let me, I'll be right back. I'm back and the dog is with my son, nice and safe now. So let's go ahead and swatch this second row. We have cashew chew. 
can't really see. Let's try that one again. Oh, it's just really light. Cotton candy. Cafe au lait. And I know how to say that because we just went to New Orleans and that's like their signature coffee. <laughs> this one, not so much. Bordeaux, maybe. Mocha. And black currant, which is purple. So there's that. Okay, and that bottom row we have dark truffle, pecan praline, totally fetch, ooh, Earl Grey, and divinity. This is really light, it might not show up. This yeah. palette retails for $49. And I got this buddy for $24.99. Like I said, I was really excited about this one. Next item I got was the Buxom Big Tees Plumping Mascara. This is the smaller size. Um, these usually retail for $12, and I got this one for $3.99. I've never tried Buxom before, so I'm pretty excited about this. Um, here's the what it looks like, if you can see it. And then here's the little wand, just your run-of-the-mill black mascara. Okay, next I got um, the Stella Glitter and Glow Highlighter Illuminator. I paid $7.99 for this, and the normal retail price is $30. This is in the shade Queen. Here's the packaging. It's like a purple highlighter. It comes on this little doe foot. Let's do a swatch. That's, that's actually really pretty. It's sheer, it's sparkly. Okay, and I also got this Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner from Too Faced. I paid $4.99 for it, and this retails for $21. And this is in the shade Fairy Queen. Oh, I didn't show you the... Here's the packaging. It's like a hollow purple. Do a swatch. Oh, probably can't see that. It's not picking up a lot of product when you dip it in and try to see it. So we'll see how that one goes on the eyes. Okay, and last but not least, I have a Too Faced Melted Latex. High Shine Lipstick in the shade Peekaboo. I paid $5.99 for this, and it normally retails for $21. So here's the packaging. I have tried their Melted Matte, but I don't think I've ever tried um, a Melted Latex. So we'll see how this goes. So it's, you know, pink, shiny. It's a really shiny color. Okay, and as you can already see, I have my base done, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this highlighter on. Once again, that was um, from Stilla in the shade Queen. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheeks. Then I'll use my finger to blend it out. Oh, that's really glittery. I 
I mean, it's really pretty. It's really glittery, and I don't typically wear a lot of like crazy glittery highlights. This is something I would probably give to my daughter, especially with prom just around the corner. Um, this would be a good little sparkly glow for her. Just trying to put a little bit on because I don't want it to be too overwhelming. But you can see it for sure. Um, it's pretty. I like it. Um, it's just not something I would typically wear. Okay, now for the eyes. Oh boy, what do I want to do? Hmm. Okay, first I'm gonna dip into the BH Cosmetic palette and I'm just gonna put a base shade down and I'm going to do that here with Fogler. Whew, there's a lot of kickback in that pan. All right. So it's going on nicely. Can you hear my dog whining? I'm sorry, she is, she's a drama queen. Oh, that dog. Here the base is on. Hmm, okay, now I wanna go into the Too Faced palette. And I want to go in here with this almond truffle and in the crease to darken it up just a bit. Damn, this palette smells good. Okay, so here's the second shade. Um, it's pretty light. I like the color. I'm just not going too crazy today because I am going shopping with my daughter after this. So I'm trying to keep this look um, a little neutral and not crazy. So I do like how it's going so far. They're blending well. Um, it's got some good pigment. So let's see what else we're going to do here. Um, I'm going to stay in this palette right now. And I'm going to put this color... Uh, I think it's Bordeaux on my outer corner. I can maybe see better if I took the protective thingy off the mirror. <sighs> Much better. Okay, I've got that on. So now I'm gonna go back into the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to put a shimmer on my eye. And I think I'm just going to use this color right here, Muddy. Okay, I just went ahead and finished my eye look. I just went back with that Bordeaux shade and the Too Faced palette and smoked up my lower lashes and I put on some liner. And so now I have the Too Faced Glitter Pop liner. It's a purple liner. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm not the greatest. I like a good felt tipped liner. I'm not the greatest with um, these brushes. We'll see how it goes. It's actually a lot brighter than I thought it would be. It's showing up quite nicely, even on um, the shimmer that's already on my lid, so I'm impressed. 
Okay, so the liner is on and I actually really like it. I didn't think I would. Um, that purple, it really shows up even on the shimmer that's already on my lid. It wasn't difficult to put on. It wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. And I actually really like the little pop of color that it's giving my look. I don't know if it's picking up on camera that well, but I like it for, for sure. Okay, so now I have the mascara to try on and that was the Buxom Plumping Mascara. Let's see how that's gonna go. And like I said in previous videos, I like to start with my mascara on the bottom lash so I don't get it on my face um, whenever I am trying to do the upper lashes. That's actually not bad. I mean, that's really giving me some volume. Wow, I'm impressed. Um, I think I mentioned before, but I've never even tried this brand before. Of course, I've heard of it. I've just never tried it. And I'm, wow, I like this. Yeah, especially for $3.99. You can't beat that. All right, I'm done with my mascara. And all that's left is the Melted Latex Lipstick. Oh, okay. It feels sticky. Is that normal? Well, that's sticky. Okay. That is really thick and it's pretty sticky. Um, I do like the shade. It's like a nice neutral pinky, so maybe once it dries down, it won't be as heavy feeling. Um, okay, let me go ahead and throw some setting spray on and we'll do final thoughts. <sighs> okay, so final thoughts. I really liked this haul. I don't think there was a product in here I didn't like. Um, yeah, there's some things that I wouldn't typically wear every day, like the liquid liner. That doesn't mean I don't like the product. It is something I wouldn't typically wear, but like I said before, I can just give this to my teenage daughter and then it will get used. Um, the highlighter is another thing I wouldn't typically use on a day-to-day -day basis, but once again, it's going to get its use, um, from my daughter. And like I said, I'm just impressed with this haul. I, I've liked everything. This is, wow, I'm already, this is putting me in a good mood today. Um, and like I said before, TJ Maxx, it's a great place where you can get high-end makeup. Um, like with me, I'm a mother of two. There's not always a lot of budget for my makeup hobby. So if I can get a deal, you know, that's great for me. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. And please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye!